Hi, I'm Freedom Coder, and in this video, I'll go over all the updates to PCG uh, that I know of since 5.3 released. So, uh, I have updated this example project and it's uploaded to GitHub. So, check the description if you want to uh, get the latest release. Um, and I'm probably not going to redo all the tutorial series, but I'm going to kind of go over key points that have changed since uh, I recorded that. So, it's been a while. Uh, okay, so let's go to like the first um, basic stuff. So uh, the first thing that you probably notice is that all of the default inputs have been deprecated. So if you hover over them, they're like, this is no longer in use. Please use something else. Uh, and one of the ones that is really important for most of the tutorials is the landscape. And that's been deprecated as well. Uh, instead, we now have the get landscape data node and um, that can just be plugged in into the surface sampler and pretty much works the same way. But the cool thing is you, do long, you no longer need to uh, put it into like subgraphs and stuff. You can just query this anywhere. Um, the same, I guess, goes for the output. So it's technically doesn't say deprecated, but it's hidden by default. So I guess um, maybe it's up for removal in the future. Uh, what I've done to upgrade all the graphs is I've added custom output pins for everything so um and the same goes for like uh the in which was uh, sort of i guess a generic getter you could put pass in stuff um i've changed that on all graphs with custom input pins that are just like points um the next thing that um has been i think the number one question is like where did the project points to landscape no go and that's been deprecated as well Instead, uh, let me open up a like a bigger graph uh, where I do some projection. Uh, I think it should be in here. Nope, it is not. Uh, maybe here. There we go. So instead of the project to landscape, we now have a generic projection node and you can um, put the landscape data into the projected target and the points into projection in and then you get uh, the projected points out I'm not quite sure why it's converted um, but you have to do like if you plug this into a point it'll automatically create like a converter of the data uh, the next thing that's been changed is the density noise so previously you could just um add a density noise uh now it's called attribute noise and um you can as the name says noise any attribute i guess that's sort of a float attribute and by default it's set to density and um the noise min and max are by like three and one and you have set minimum maximum so it works essentially the same uh except that it can work on different um attributes as well um, you can see like all the different attributes here and you can also specify your own. So that's, um, that's that small change, uh, mesh sampling. Uh, so let's go into this graph. That's another thing that has like been removed. So there's the mesh sampler now, and, um, this node actually doesn't turn up by default. You have to enable a plugin and that is, uh, let's search for PCG. That is the uh, procedural content generation framework geometry script interop plugin. So that allows you to get uh, mesh sampling and voxelizing and all that data. And probably a bunch more, but I haven't checked it out. Uh, so maybe that's something for a future video. But yeah, you can um, then add the mesh sampler node, put in the mesh and have sort of kind of all the same options as before. Um, so that's where that went and the next thing that changed is how to uh, filter by landscape layer data. So you can see here if I have like a small graph that only places stuff on grass, well, on the green stuff, which is the grass layer. Uh, previously, there was a custom node that I uh, wrote, but that's no longer necessary. So uh, this works by first getting the landscape data and make sure that get layer weights is enabled. That should be enabled by default, but you know, make sure. And then uh, after you sample the surface, 
Um, let me just uh, debug that. Uh, you can see that all the layers, in this case it's just default and grass, there's no more layers in the landscape, they all have um, their weights added. So you can see like some weights, zero weights, like 0 0.6. And then you add a point filter. And in the point filter you choose the operator that you want. In this case it's like more than, greater than. Uh, the attribute is grass, this is literally just um, what the, the name is here. And then um, by default, you can compare it to a different attribute. What I did is like, I just checked use constant threshold and by default it's double, which uh, I guess PCG is very um, stingy about that. Uh, and it'll like make a warning, but so you have to set it to float. And then I set it like greater than half and then it should be okay. And yeah, that's how it, like all the points that match this filter will be inside and all that don't will be outside. And then I just use this uh, as a debug output. So you can see the, the sample points there. Um, what's next? Oh yeah. So then we have, uh, let's take this one. Uh, so if I go to the custom property, uh, uh, not much has changed, so it's still the same way you can get it. Uh, so in this case, it's like test scale. But what I um, realized on a different blueprint is that if this property is no longer uh, visible, the uh, PCG will error out. Oh, maybe I need to compile this first. Yeah, there you go. So now it's like, hey, this property exists, but uh, I can't read it. Um, previously, that wasn't the case. so. Um, it's now very important that this is visible. Uh, and what I did for my um, big like jungle blueprint is because there's a lot of properties that are supposed to be visible, uh, like aren't supposed to be visible. So like all the densities, um, they shouldn't be exposed to the user because they're like sort of internal. So I moved them into the internal category. And then uh, in the class settings, I think, yep. Yeah. I hit the category, so it no longer shows up in the inspector. Um, and I think that's it. Uh, I have been absent for quite a while, but I have been doing some uh, more PCG work. Um, and I think I'll do some more tutorials on like some of the concept that um, have been asked for. So like how ray tracing works, um, there's some like callback methods. Uh, I, since I made the tutorials, the Electric Dreams uh, demo came out and I've been analyzing that. Uh, so there's some cool stuff with level instances um, that I could get to. And um, yeah, that's it for the upgrade. Again, the project is on GitHub. You can just download all the files. And um, I guess that's it. Happy New Year. Goodbye.